Coding Challenge Review Intermediate Memory. So, what do we got today here, guys? Question number one. So, add positive numbers. Oh, that was trivial, right? That was very easy already. So, we got an array of numbers and we want to add the positive ones, right? So, this is uh, one of the simplest questions on the, the intermediate training. So, to solve the problem, we receive an array of numbers. So, uh, there are different ways to solve the problem. We could either, first of all, filter the positive ones and then add them all. And then, or, or, however, we can just use reduce one loop. So, with reduce, we can just keep the... If it's positive, add it. If not, ignore it. Right? Whatever works better for you. So let's use filter and reduce. So first of all, we got numbers dot filter. So for each number, I want to keep it if it's greater than zero. Does the equal matters here or not? Say it again. It doesn't matter. Correct. We can add plus zero. It uh, doesn't matter, right? And then reduce, you know how to add, uh, calculate the total, right? So we reduce for argument the accumulator and then the number. So then return total plus number. Do we need the default value? Yes. What happens if we don't put the default value? Will it? Say it again? Yeah. Will it, will it, will it make any difference? Say it again, Bala. The, the first number becomes the default. Correct. Yeah, yeah. So if we don't put the default value, the first one, the default, it won't work. Okay. Let's have a look. Right. Yaf is wrong. It works perfectly, right? I mean, <laughs> if we calculate the total, of course we can put comma zero, but then. If we put the comma zero, the first value of total will be the first element on the array. Instead of doing zero plus one plus two plus three, we'll be doing one plus two plus three, which is the same. Yeah, of course it, it skips the question. We did a workshop about, about the default value using reduce, right? So if we don't put the default value, it skips the first iteration. So total, the accumulator is assigned to the first element of the array. So that's optional. Feel free to to, to, to leave it, feel free to keep it, whatever you want, right? It's not necessary. If you wanted to calculate the average, that was actually necessary. But for the total, it's not. So, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. What you did here, so first of all, Poppy, she gets the positives and then she calculates the, she adds them all, right? Pretty much the same thing for Rafa. Filter, reduce, Bala, same thing, ISIL. Ashley. Hmm. Yeah, so interestingly, Jeff, he, he used the other approach. Uh, so what Jeff did was the only one doing that approach, which I believe is perfectly valid, and technically speaking, is even more performant. Why? Because with this approach, that is my preferred one from a readability point of view, but technically speaking, is slightly worse. Why? Because we need to loop twice, right? First of all, we need to loop to keep the, the positive ones. And once we have the positive ones, we need to loop again on the positive ones to, to add them all. However, what Jeff, propo what Jeff proposed was something a bit different. So he, he you know, got rid of the filter. And then what he did is return. Return what? Number greater than zero, then total plus number. Else, just the number. You see? So if the number is negative, no, not, not number, sorry, total. That's wrong. So if the number is negative, we keep the total whatever it was. If it's positive, we'll increment the, the accumulator. Right. Uh, second one, I did on four, that's so weird. Right, what's wrong, what's wrong here, guys? So number greater than zero, total plus number, uh, of course, because if we do that, 
we do need the comma zero. Because if we don't put comma zero in that approach, the problem is we're ignoring, we're ignoring the first total. So if we don't put comma, look, first of all, let's see if that works. Yeah, it does work, right? So in following that approach, we need the zero because if we don't put the zero, what's the first value of number like that? On the, let's focus on the second example, which is the controversial one. What's the first number? Wrong. Two, that's correct. If we don't put zero, the first value of total will be one, minus one, sorry, the second value, the first value of number will be two, right? Is number greater than zero? Yes or no? But number is not minus one. Wasn't again, okay, let's recap. What's the value without this comma zero? What's the first value of total? What's the first value of number? Two. Is two greater than zero? Yes. So then, without the comma zero, what we got is minus one plus two, which is wrong already, right? Because we're already considering the uh, a negative value in it. So if we follow that strategy, we need to be extra careful. And then, as Jeff suggested, we need to put the comma zero, and then it works, right? So that's an alternative. Any question in the, in the problem? No? Right. I'm going to skip the next question, because not sure if that particular one, but we've been talking about filtering vowels like 30 times already, right? We've seen different strategies using regex, using includes, right? So yeah, it's, that's all good. So I'm even going to skip the next one because we've done that like, again hundreds of times already. Higher order functions. We got a function that returns another function, right? Easy. Let's do this one. Get starting read. Classic question on intermediate so we have let's do that here skip 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 so we have an array of objects and we want to reverse it right so we want to display the last element first then the second one and finally whatever came originally first and we want to keep just the last name, right? So that's quite easy, actually. So we got a list of drivers. So we want to return drivers.reverse, right? So that will reverse the array. But because we don't want the entire information about the drivers, we just want the last name. How do we transform an array into another array of the same size but different information? Map, correct. Correct. Map driver, and then so driver has, is an object, right? So if I do driver dot name, it will give me the yes the name of the driver. But however, we just want the last name. How do we extract the last name? Split. Correct. Split. Split what, Poppy? Parentheses. Yeah. Parentheses. Yeah. Um, the so space, two words. A space or no space? What do you think? Space, yeah. right? Because we want to break, we want to break that by in here, right? Yeah. Space. Correct. Once we break that into an array of two elements, mm -hmm. we can easily access the last name, which is in index number one. one. Correct. Correct. That should work, I hope. Yes, it does work. Yeah? Any question? Let me see what you did here. So, Poppy, she did on the other way around. So first she got the first, uh, the last name, right? That's absolutely fine, that's the same thing. Uh, Rafa, he did what he did, first reverse then map. I mean, it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter. 
Uh, interestingly, Bala, he used pop, which is the same thing, right? So pop returns the last element of the array. Reverse map, reverse map, Jaff, indentation. Remember to put dot reverse in a new line, you know, aligned with the dot map, like for example, Astley did, you see? That helps on readability purposes. Jonan, same thing. He created another a utility function called last name, right? The, my, oh, I like that. I like that. It's a good way to encapsulate the complexity into a separate function. I think that's a really good idea, Jonan. Here's a very subtle detail. Please, when you create a function, explain the action that the function performs, right? So in that particular case, I will call that function get last name, retrieve last name, calculate last name, something like that, explain the action, right? Uh, apart from that, guys, could you please mute yourself? Thank you. Guys, thank you. Cool. Uh, yeah, and I saw, yeah, the same thing. So yeah, that was, that was an easy one. Uh, right. And finally, let's do the last question. We've got time. Question number five, get worst recent movie. I think we've done that already a few times, right? Let's do that again. So we have a bunch of movies and we want to calculate, well, yeah, this is a classic question where the title is very confusing. Right? It's very confusing. It's very confusing. Because if, if my function name is get worst recent movie, I'm expecting to return maybe an object, maybe a string, but not an array, right? To me, it's a bit confusing. I need to pay attention to the details to have a better understanding about the expectations. So someone didn't do a good job here creating that function name. It was me, obviously, right? And we did that on purpose to prove that sometimes, to prove how important providing good function names could be in order to understand what the expectations are. Anyway, anyway, that's pretty trivial, to be honest. We don't need to sort, we don't need to reverse, we don't need to do anything, right? We just need to, to you know, transform an array into another array with the average score of each movie. Pretty, pretty, pretty simple. So, how do we do that, guys? We've got a list of movies. So as you imagine, we can do movies dot map. And for each movie, we want to return, the, and, uh, yeah, for each movie, we want to transform it, keeping the name the same, right? Name, movie dot name. And in regards to the score, get average, or get, yeah, get average. Average, so whenever we pass an array, we got the array of scores, it will return the average, right? And then let's create that function, get average, we receive a list of values, could be scores, could be whatever, right? We don't care, we don't care about the content. Return values that reduce total, that's the test alarm, so don't worry about it unless you smoke anything. Uh, total and then the value. And then what? Return total plus correct value divided by, by what? Values of length. Do we need to initialize the accumulator here? Yes, thank you. Cool. Do we need to round the solution? Mm, I'm not sure. Not really, right? Not really. Okay, let's keep it raw. Oh, oh, it fails, right? Lots of errors at the bottom. Why? Because the function, again, is not corresponding, right? <laughs> so we need to rename the function, right? To make sure it works and then as you can see now, it's all good. Any question? No? Yeah. 
what did you back to the question like that in the sense of you said the um, function name mm -hmm. wasn't really well is that to make sure it was so th th this exercise will invoke automatically a function called get yeah. worst recent movie. Yeah. We need to create it. Mm -hmm. If I put something, something else, it won't work, of course, right? Because we don't have any function with that name. So if we run that example, play, it works, right? To me, to me is the main issue here is the name of the function is confusing. Because if I create a function called get worst recent movie, worst recent movie, I'm, I'm expecting one movie. Get the worst one, get one. Get the worst, right? Yeah, single, correct. However, if you look at the expectation, it doesn't return a single movie, it returns them all, right? These kind of things. Cool. So what do you do here? Poppy, same thing. Get average, Rafa, same thing, inline. Bala, so first of all, well, he created an average utility on top using an arrow function, and then he invokes, he invokes it. Ashley, same thing, inline, Jaff, get average, same thing, Jonan, the same thing. So, you know, pretty much everybody has done the same, the same thing here, right? Cool, so yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. We took less than 20 minutes, so that was uh, an easy review. Any question? Anything else? No? Cool, thank you very much. See you in the afternoon on the review of the expert.